Hi, so I wanted to share with you a great sequence for stabilizing lower back and opening up the thoracic spine. So let's get started. So first of all, we're going to come onto all fours and I want you to tuck your toes under behind you, stacking your knees underneath your hips and placing your wrists underneath your shoulders. Just check in with your lower back, so it's quite handy to place your hand here, make sure you're not rounding into the lower back. You want the spine to be sitting in a neutral position. So first of all, we're going to start to connect with the breath, so you're breathing in and out through your nose. On your next inhale, you're going to start to Shift your sit bones back towards your heels. Tucking your chin in towards your chest. Give yourself a double chin. And then on your next exhale, we're going to shift the movement forwards. Neutralizing the neck. Breathing in. And breathing out. Let's do that a couple more times. And then we're just returning into a neutral position. So we're just going to take a moment, come onto the tops of the feet. And I want you to come into a child's pose. So take your sit bones back towards your heels and then really slowly start to walk your hands as far forwards as you can. And then we're lowering the forehead down into the mat underneath us. And then once you're here, taking again, nice big deep inhale and long slow exhale. See if you can just walk your hands a little bit further forwards. So we're getting that lovely deep stretch into the back of the body. If your sit bones are way away from your heels or you're struggling to get your head to the floor, you could make fists with your hands and drop your forehead down. So there's always options. Breathe here and notice. I want you to inhale and take your breath down into your lower back, into your pelvis. And as you exhale, all the way out through the top of the head. Let's take a couple more breaths here. One more. On your next inhale, walk your hands slowly back towards your knees. And then on your next in-breath, you're going to slowly curl up. So we're going to take the legs out from underneath us and we're going to bring them out in front. And I just want you to shuffle your butt forwards and then we're just going to come to lie down on the mat. So this is what we call the bretzel. I want you to extend your left leg down the mat and then you're going to bring your bent right leg across your body. Now it's really important here that we have the knee in line with the hip and the ankle in line with the knee. So just check in, check in with your alignment here. Bring your head back down into the floor. Just take a moment and then we're going to start to bend the leg, in this case the left leg that's on the floor, and you're going to try and grab the foot with the hand. Now I find it helpful here to lift my foot up and then gently start to place the foot down. So this is all about rotation into the upper mid-back. So placing the left hand onto the bent right leg, 
We're stabilizing the knee here, so we want the inside of the knee to the floor. And then really slowly you start to turn your chest as far as you can up towards the ceiling. And then you're allowing your chin to fall down towards your right shoulder. Just breathe deep. I want you to lift your breath into your diaphragm. And as you exhale, just see if you can drop your right shoulder a little bit closer towards the mat underneath you. Breathing in. Breathing out. Stay with the breath. The more that we keep in tune with the inhale and the exhale, the more that the mobility and the stretch will work for us. If we're holding the breath, if we're clenching into the jaw and we're forcing the stretch, we just hit a plateau and the body won't mobilize anymore. So we're gonna take a couple more breaths here. Notice the subtle shifts and the changes of your body as you hold space and you breathe. One more. And then we're gonna really slowly release out. Take your time to unwind. And then we're just gonna simply do that the other side. But before we move into the other side, often I just like to take a moment Feet flat into the floor, legs are bent. And just kind of get that sense of coming into neutral. And then we're going to extend the right leg. You're bringing your bent left leg across. Again, just check in with your alignment here. So check in the knee in line with the hip, the ankle in line with the knee. Lay your head back down on the floor. Right hand comes to the outside of the knee. And just take a moment here. You're going to start to bend the leg, grabbing the foot. If, of course, you can't grab the foot, which is quite possible, you can get a belt or a scarf and loop it around the top of the foot because this is going to enable you to find a bind. So wherever you're at, breathing deep. Allowing your chin to fall towards your shoulder. You're opening up the mid upper back, the chest, the heart space. Trying to lower your left shoulder towards the floor. Take your time. This hand pressing down on the knee is keeping the inside of the knee stabilized down towards the floor. If that knee wasn't touching the floor and you needed some support, you can grab a cushion or a pillow, breathe and notice. The idea of these stretches is that we're keeping stable in the lower back. So if you're really flexible like me, yoga is great, but often what can happen is we're overworking into the lower back, overworking into the neck. So it's super important that we focus on this thoracic spine opening. Let's take a couple more breaths here. Again, noticing the shifts and the changes of your body as you breathe. And of course, the more that we repeat these movements, the more that we repeat these positions, the quicker that the body adapts. So you'll really start to notice the changes. Great for lower back health. One more breath. And then we're going to slowly start to unravel and unwind. I want you to hug your legs in towards you and just take a moment here, squeezing your thighs in towards your belly. And if you want a little stretch into the neck, you could slowly start to lift your forehead up towards your knees. So we're going to do something now called the rib grab. So we're going to take both knees over to the left side of the mat. I want you to stack your knees one on top of the other. Bring your um, ankles in line with your knees. And again, knees in line with hips. 
reach your left arm out in front. If you needed, again, extra support for your head, you can grab a pillow. Now with my right free hand, I'm gonna grab my ribs that are underneath me. I'm gonna use the breath here. So you're gonna take a nice big deep inhale. And then on your exhale, you're slowly starting to turn your chest up towards the ceiling. You feel your ribs lift away from the floor. Inhale, coming back into neutral. Exhale, turning. Breathing in, breathing out. Now, once you've got that movement, once you're synchronizing the movement of your body with your breath, I want you to notice what's going on in your knees. You want to keep your knees super stable here. You don't want your knees moving. You don't want your top knee rubbing up and down onto the bottom knee. Stabilize the knees, breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, couple more times, once more. Let's release out, let's do that the other side. So just taking a moment, coming onto your back, just come back into neutral position, and then shift your legs over to the other side, stacking the knees, knees in line with hips, ankles in line with knees, reaching your right arm into the space in front of you, using your free left hand, grabbing the underside of your rib cage, inhaling, exhaling. Breathing in, breathing out, a few more times. Check in with your knees, check your knees are staying stable, there's no movement. This means otherwise that the lower back is kicking in. Don't allow the lower back to kick in here. We're stabilizing the center of your body. This is part of your all important core stability. You're using the sides of the waist. Okay, let's release out. Let's come onto our bellies now and we're gonna take a cobra position. Slightly different variation perhaps from that which we're used to. So placing the forehead onto the floor, backs of the hands down, extend through the legs. I want you to pick your right foot up away from the mat and then you're engaging the leg and I want you to reach with your right toe tips towards the bottom edge. Lift your left leg, engage and do the same the other side. So we're just feeling a little bit more extension into the spine, into the lumbar spine. Take one more breath. On your next inhale, I want you to slowly start to lift your head and your chest away from the floor. You're gonna reach your arms up and I want you to lift your thumb tips up towards the ceiling. Rotate your palms out to the sides. You're keeping the front of your hips pressing down into the floor, legs stay engaged, and I want you to work your breath into your diaphragm. You're squeezing your shoulder blades together behind you, breathing in, breathing out. Couple more breaths. Keep your neck long, keep your gaze long, don't crick into the cervical spine, one more breath. A 
and then slowly lower down. Stack your palms one on top of the other, rest your forehead, and let's just wriggle the hips out from side to side. So we're just easing into the lower back, release the glutes if they were um, tensing there, and then we're gonna come into Sphinx Pose. So we're gonna bring the elbows down. Your elbows are stacked underneath your shoulders. Palms pressing into the floor. Again, just take a moment here, feel length in the legs. You're engaging, your kneecaps are lifting away from the floor. We're gonna push the elbow joints down into the mat. So this is gonna cause a little bit more of a lift. You'll feel the muscles either, the, either side of the spine engaging. Neck long, draw your shoulder blades together behind your chest and hold here. Breathe into your diaphragm, the epicenter of the breath. Inhaling. Exhaling. Feed your chest forwards. Two more breaths. One more. Then we're gonna slowly lower down. Just take a moment again, stacking your palms. This time bend the legs and we're just gonna windscreen wiper. Easing into the hips, into the lower back. Do that once more either side. And then as you extend your legs, we're going to bring the hands back underneath the shoulders and we're going to come back onto all fours. So again, bringing your knees underneath your hips, wrists underneath your shoulders. There's options here. I want you to bring your right hand away from the floor. Now we can either place the palm onto the rib cage or you can bring the back of the hand into your lower back. So you can play around here and figure out what feels best for you. I like to bring my hand into my lower back, that's my preference. So again, just stabilizing. Make sure your left wrist is stacked underneath your left shoulder. Neck long, on your next inhale, exhale, rotate your chest, lift your elbow up towards the ceiling. Breathing in, come back to center. Exhale. Three more times, breathing in. Twice more. Once more. Inhale, come back to neutral, take a moment. Let's just sit back on the heels and just shake the wrists out. Let's bring a little bit of rotation. Reaching arms forwards, thumbs into palms, wrap fingers around thumbs and rotating into the wrist joints a few times one way and a few times the opposite way. And then it, let's repeat that the other side. So bring the palms back down into the floor. Knees underneath the hips. Again, choose either hand onto ribs, back of hand onto lower back. Make sure your neck is nice and long. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhaling. Exhaling. Breathing in. Turning your chest, lifting your elbow up towards the ceiling. Do that twice more. Return to centre. Let's bring the left palm down into the floor and we're going to end the session as we started. So you're going to tuck your toes under behind you. This time on your exhale, sink your sit bones back towards your heels, tuck your chin in towards your chest. Breathing in as you come forwards, neutral neck, breathing out. Breathing in. A 
couple more times. Come back to center. Just take a moment, come to sit on your mat. Tune into your breath, tune into your body. Just notice how you feel. Thanks guys. <laughs>